This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president of Gladiator Metals, Mr. Marcus Hardin. Marcus, how are you today? Yeah, great. Thank you very much, Gerardo. Yeah. Well, Got lots going on. Very busy. You have a lot going on. Let's get right into it. The last time that we spoke, I made it a point to emphasize the potential scale, not just what's there, but the potential scale on the exploration side of things. And right on cue, y'all had a release a couple of days ago highlighting the large scale copper magnetic anomalies. So I wanted to have you on to talk about, you know, the potential extensions to the known mineralization and the undrilled targets that you have, because there's a lot of runway, despite the fact that you already have your hand full, hands full with the targets that you're drilling out. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Yeah, so the, the the plan for the summer for um, for Gladiator is uh, is to start stepping away from uh, our sort of uh, advanced target areas. So, so Cali Park and the Chief Strand, uh, they've they've been drilled to fairly close spacing. That we we feel they're pretty much ready for um, advancing to resource definition. Um, but the the big push for the summer has been uh, you know looking exploring for extensions to those deposits. Uh, but also starting to explore for analogs undercover. Um, most of the historical exploration was pretty much done from, uh, driven by outcrop. So outcropping uh, copper magnetite scans were found, and then essentially steps drilling away from those uh, outcrops uh, to define the, the size of the body. Um, but with much of the area sort of under thin um, glacial tills, um, that meant that there was a lot of a lot of real estate that hadn't really been explored. So we we took the decision to do a very close spaced um, drone mag survey over the whole of the tenements, um, and a couple of reasons for that. So mainly for the uh, the magnetite scan. So it's uh, pretty much a direct detection tool. Um, the magnetite scans sit amongst uh, granodiorite or uh, or limestone so very much low magnetic signature country rocks and so there's a uh, there's a high gradient between the the resource areas and um and those country rocks and that's what we're seeing in the data so we're seeing that those uh, the areas where we have good drill definition are standing out uh, pretty proudly in the mag data set but obviously what's exciting to us is all of those mag highs those coherent mag highs which sit underneath the till which haven't been drilled in the past or explored. Um, and that's, that's the real upside of this project is um, getting out there, starting to test those with, uh, with first pass drilling. Uh, we're also planning to do some ground-based uh, EM surveys as well. Uh, that's because there's, there's massive sulfide components to our main resources. And if we can, if we can start to define conductors within those magnetic anomalies, obviously that's going to help us prioritize which targets we hit first. But, um, but yeah, the, the summer summer months are very much about sort of uh, putting multiples on the resource potential for the area um, ahead of pulling tr triggers on the uh, the drill outs plan for next year. It's really, <coughs> really, really notable to me, Marcus. <laughs> it's really notable to me that you've already identified more than thirty drill ready high grade regional targets, right, associated with the copper rich gardens that you mentioned. But what's even more fascinating to me is that there's more than thirty five kilometers of underexplored strike on the contact, right? And obviously, you know that's going to be highly prospective for high grade copper, molybdenum, silver, gold, et cetera, et cetera. Can you speak to that thirty five kilometers of underexplored strike? Yeah, and actually, we've uh, we've um, the mag has highlighted quite a few areas where anomalies were starting to trend off uh, tenements as well. So we've been we've been uh, adding to that the past couple of weeks with some <laughs> regional projects and um, and contiguous claim groups as well. Um, but yeah, the so the thirty five kilometres of strike, the main sort of targeting vector for these deposits, like I mentioned, their scan deposits, is uh, is that most of the deposits discovered to date are within 150 meters of that contact between the uh, Cretaceous intrusions and the Triassic uh, limestones. Um, but obviously having definition on where that contact is um, really will really help drive exploration. And that's the 35 kilometers of strike. Um, but it will also add um, areas of complexity into that contact. It's not just a straight line through that 35 kilometers. 
Uh, most of the deposits occur with uh, either flank pendants or roof pendants um, or, or just complexities in the contact margin. Um, and those those are the sort of things we'll be picking out from the from the mag data. And again, that'll help us prioritize the, the uh, yeah more than 35 targets that we've got along that trend at the moment. Fascinating times, a busy time. I'm excited to have you back on here shortly, I imagine, given the fact that, you know, there, there, there's so much work going on. The results uh, keep coming in. They keep being positive. So definitely, definitely looking forward to having you back on. Anything to add to that, Marcus? No, that's uh, that's great. Thanks, Gerardo. Yeah, we've, uh, we, we should have a draw rig going back out in the next couple of weeks. Um, that's going to be focused at first on extensions and then starting to move on to testing these additional targets. We've got field crews out. Uh, as I mentioned, we're staking new ground, putting together historical data sets, uh, and we'll be running further geophysics up and down the the, uh, the trend as well. So, so plenty of news for to come in the next couple of months. Good stuff. Good stuff. Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Gerardo. Cheers. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care everybody.